I'm going to show you how you can instantly trigger a make.com scenario from a Slack message, but first I'm just going to show you how it works. So when I go over to this Slack channel right here, I can say who is Mark Zuckerberg. And this make.com scenario is now going to send that text to Claude, which will send the response back to another Slack channel. So if I go over to the out Slack channel right here, as you can see in here, it has now sent me the text on who Mark Zuckerberg is on this Slack channel. So how can you do this? So the first thing we all need to do is we need to head over to a new make.com scenario. So in this new make.com scenario, we need to click on custom webhook. There we go. And now we need to come over to what is called api.slack.com slash apps. And we need to create a new app from scratch and we want to call the app Slack Assistant. And then we want to select the workspace we want that Slack Assistant to be in. And in here, we want to come down to OAuth and permissions. And we want to go down to the redirect URLs, click on re add new redirect URL. But to find this one, we need to try to set up a Slack module in make.com and we need to find the online help link. And in this website, we will find the links we will use for the redirect URLs. They are in here. As you can see, we want to copy this first one right here. And we want to enter that into the redirect URLs. Click on Add. And then we want to add another one, which will be the same, just with a three at the end. Click on Add, and we want to save URLs. Once we've done that, we want to click on Event Subscriptions. Then we want to enable events. And in here, we need to find the webhook URL that we had from our uh, make.com scenario. In here, we need to click on add, and we can call this webhook Slack Assistant. There we go. And we click on save and click on, uh, and we need to click on copy address to clipboard. And we need to paste this address in here. And then what we can do is we can go back over to our make.com scenario and we can click on run once. If we can just set up the model first, click on okay, and then we can click on run once. Now in this uh, Slack app, we can click on retry, retry, there we go. And then we can come back to our make.com scenario and we now have the challenge, which is something we will use in this scenario where we can click on webhooks and Webhook responses. Let me just turn on my camera again. There we go. Okay. And the body needs to be challenge. And then we need to click on advanced settings. And the first item needs to be content type. And the second one needs to be text slash plain. We need to click on okay. Now what we can do is we can run this once again. Uh, wait for new data, run. We can go back over to our Slack app. We can click on retry. Now you can see that the webhook is enabled and you can see that we got a 200 response right here. Now you can see that the webhook is uh, verified and what we can do is we can click, we can click on subscribe to bot events and then we can click on add bot user event. You can just search for a message. I've already added my a message was posted to a private channel, which is this one. Then once you've done that, you can click on save changes. I just need to turn on my camera again. There we go. Okay. Once you've done that, you can come over to install app. Then you can click on install to the workspace you have your app set up for. And you need to click on allow. Then you can come over to the Slack channel you want to have this app set up for. So you can come over to the Slack channel and click on the channel name. And then you can click on integrations and add an app. And in here, you will be able to see your app. So we can just say add. So now you can see that the add the Slack assistant was added. So we can go back to our make.com scenario. We can delete this one. Then we can click on run once and we can come back over to the app that we just see, uh, wait for new data. We can come back over to the Slack channel we wanted to use and we can say who is the richest person on earth. And we can click on send that. 
And if we now go back to our make.com scenario, we will see that, that we have a new message here, which is who is the richest person on earth. So what you can now do with this is that you can add a anthropic module right here, create a prompt. You want to connect to your cloud or anthropic connection. And then you can say the max tokens is a thousand and add a new message and the role will be user. And there will be a text content. And we need to say that the text is the text we, or the message we get from Slack, which was this one who is the richest person on earth. Click on okay. And then what we can do is we can say that we want to send this Slack message back to another Slack channel. So we want to say, create message. If you can find that, create message. Then you need to connect to your Slack channel and we can say that select from the list. We want to have this set to a private list. We can have the private channel to be test output and the text is going to be the text we get from Claude, which will be this text right here. Click on okay. Now what we need to do is we need to add a little error handler here, which will be an ignore. There we go. And what we now can do is we can say that we want to run this scenario immediately as data arrives. Delete old, old data, delete. And then we want to try to send a message through Slack and see what happens. Who is Steve Jobs? And then we can check out our There we go. As you can see now, uh, Claude has responded with a message about Steve Jobs. So that is basically how you set up an instant trigger from Slack. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.